G'day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now this video features a new technique which I've not covered on my channel yet and I've only recently got into it myself. Arjing or argy fishing is a style of fishing that's gained a bit of popularity recently in New Zealand. Ultralight tackle combined with soft plastics and lures targeting jack mackerel or also known as Argy. However, arjing isn't just limited to catching jack mackerel, quite often you'll catch snapper, kahawai and even gurnard, which you will see in this video. It's a super exciting style of fishing and right now is the time to be out there casting. So in this video I'll show you some of the tackle and lures used, some fishing action over the last seven days and also a bit of preparing and cooking. Um, that method will be panko crumbed, which you will see at the end of the video. And in all honesty, I never thought the day would come I'd be eating a jack mackerel, but I've come to realise it's a totally underrated table fish. It's absolutely delicious. So stick around and I'll show you what Argent is all about. Right everyone, so I'm just going to run you over some of, the, some of the gear that I use, some of the tackle, soft plastics, lures, and I'll show you my rod setup as well. So this is actually an eggy rod, which is uh, uh, designed for targeting squid. So it's seven foot six. It's just got a little 2500 reel, just a little reel. Doesn't need a lot of drag, four kg drag. Just spin this around here. But this is rated to three to six kg, which is more than enough for RG. It's not an RG specific rod by any means, but it's got a really nice soft tip on it to work those little soft plastics and lures. And it's been working great for me so far. And I'll just show you some of these soft plastics as well. <clears throat> so this is a 2.5 screw tail grub by a brand called Smith. And you can get these from Yeehaw Tackle. A few other places have them as well. Basically it's just like a miniature soft bait. And I've paired that up with a 2 gram Daiwa little jig head. Number 6 hook, which is still pretty tiny. And the RG really love these. We really love them. I've been doing really well on all the colours. And as far as Lewis goes, there's a bit of everything. Uh, so far, I've only got myself this little thing, which is called a Majinko from a brand called Jackson Quan. This is tiny. This is 1.8 gram. So, super light. In order to cast such lightweight jigs and lures, you have to have light line. So I've got six pound braid on this little sienna. Some people run even less, two, four pound. And I've got a six pound fluorocarbon leader. Here we are, as you can see, it's a low tide. Right, bear with me down the rock wall. Got my kayaking boots on tonight so I can get a bit wet. Yeah, that's all the stuff I need. Got my rod, my tackle box, and my tackle, little net, camera tripod. Beautiful night. Show you what I'm running here. Got my little Jackson tackle kit from Option Tackle. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a tool kit here, a bit of an assortment. Everything in here worms, jig heads. Keep everything nice and tidy. I think I'm going to go 
gonna go for this little Daiwa with the little screw tail grub. You guys see that alright? This is a two gram. It's been doing well recently, so I think I'll just stick with that. Just done a basic union on this little clip here. Is it gonna focus? Tiny little six pound leader. It's actually a little bit tricky to work with with tying knots, believe it or not. They can just clip over there nicely. Clip that back under and there we go. Right, let's get casting. We'll put this one back, I think. It's a little bit small. Okay, just got another one. Another nice one. Pretty good size. soft bait good size probably about 20 20 or so centimeters there Go check that out, another really nice one. Probably about 25 centimeter. Oh, that's enough of a session tonight, anyway. Get a little bit more footage for the video and a new PB. I'm really stoked with that. We'll get home, we'll measure this guy, and uh, get them prepped for um, some eating tomorrow, I think. Wicked. Wicked. Wicked bro. Awesome. What do you got there, William? 
this carry. Look at me. What'd you get that on? Three and a half grand, eh? Night of the Gurnard. This one. Ah, oh, well, got us. Did he? Yeah. You all right? Look <laughs> <laughs> <You're your face. laughs> it. Let's have a look. I'll let him go then. Fun way to end the night. Let's get him out. William just spotted this little pedal crab. So we got three others in here. Really nice. Nice fit RG. Microsoft baits. Alright, that's enough for tonight anyway. Oh, what an awesome night. Well done on the Gurner, William. Awesome. First Archie. Here we go. Twenty-eight. Call it twenty-eight. It's pretty cool. Just over 25. We've got this guy here. Let's see. 20. 27. How cool is that? And the Microsoft baits and the paddle crab to finish it off. Awesome. So we'll see you in the morning. G'day everyone. It's the next morning. A bloody beautiful day beautiful day after an awesome night and I'll just set up a little kitchen here give you guys a little tour here we go got my little filleting table down the back here under this beautiful plum tree gonna be using my gas cooker the plan is I'm gonna prepare fillet and we're gonna panko crumb deep fry our RG, our Jack Mackerel fillets. So I've got my panko crumbs. These are the bloody bomb. If anyone knows any better ones, let me know. These are the easiest ones to get. I've got my eggs, my flour, panko crumbs, salt, pepper, bit of garlic salt, my oil, gas cooker, just some of my other accessories. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so got my little filleting section here. I'm going to chuck this camera up on the tripod, get a bit of view. So I've kept this on ice, gutted and gilled them after catching, and I've just kept them on ice in the chili bin. I haven't frozen them. They're just nice and firm. Yeah. 
a little bit of row in there, look. A little bit of row. We'll actually fry that. Fry that up. And then I'll try that with them. This little bugger, he's of decent size. I'm gonna panko him and fry him as well. Just take his shell off. Check out those spikes. Gnarly little spikes up here. They're sharp as well. Do it, eh? Yum. First bit in, you ready? You ready? Woo! Look at that. Not going to take long to cook. Get on a flip. Oh, mate, that's looking beautiful. Woo! Yum. I'll try one without panko as well. See what that's like. Got this row here as well. I wonder what I'll do with this. I might just put it in a little bit of egg and then just a little, little bit of panko. Fry that up in that corner there. Beautiful. Bits of budgie are done. Look at that. Oh mate, beauty. On the plate it goes. Oh look at that row. I reckon this is gonna taste so good. Alright, so I'm going to bloody egg this guy. He'll go in the egg. In the egg, in the flour. In the egg. Come. 
go. Here I got that that row out of that argy, that jack mackerel, which I panko crumbed. So mm. it's really good. You can just see the you can just see the X X in there. Just see the eggs in there. Actually, really nice argy row. Happy eye if you will. Before I wrap the video up, got one last bit of RG here. Real golden bit. Look at that. Mmm. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was bloody fun making it. I found a new fish that I can catch and cook. Create content with. Remember if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give the video the thumbs up, and stay tuned for more. RG fishing and Microsoft baiting. We'll see you in the next one. See you later. <laughs>